Mmm. Brownies. How good are brownies? Don't they look gorgeous? Well, to make them, you're going to need some stuff. 200 grams of dark chocolate for starters. That's a good place to start. 100 grams of milk chocolate. Check it out. 250 grams of salted butter. Or just regular butter, whatever. 400 grams of brown sugar. Four eggy eggs. 50 grams of cocoa powder. Now, I've measured all this crap out before so that I don't need to... 140 grams of plain flour and... What do you reckon? 200 grams of raspberries? That's what the recipe reckons. Is that it? Well, that's what the recipe reckons. So first thing you want to do for these super great brownies is grease up a tray and put some baking paper in it. Now, if, if you grease the tray first, then the baking paper sticks better to it when it's, when it's all cool, when it's all not warm. And then you can spray the baking paper because that way what you put into it won't really stick to it that much at all. Huh. But let's talk about these brownies. I think these are the best brownies since the invention of brows and of knees. That's how good they are. Ah, change your life. So rich, so fun. They're like, they're like exactly what you want from a sugar daddy. That's how rich they are. First thing you want to do after doing your tray. So second thing you want to do is cut your butter into big chunks then uh oh yeah set your oven set your oven to 160 celsius i've got a fan forced oven so i'm setting it to fan forced 160 ish and turn on your hot plate i've got gas as you can see on the hot plate you want a big vat of boiling water well not big i think this one's a little bit too big um on that you're gonna melt your butter now, butter is a whole lot less fragile than chocolate. You can melt butter and you can melt chocolate. I mean, duh. But you can melt butter and it takes a lot longer to burn than chocolate does. If you over melt chocolate, then it's going to be yeah in your teeth. So what I'm doing here is double boiling it. That means there's boiling water in the pot on which the... the thing of butter is the bowl of butter now you don't want that actually sitting in the water my first pan was too wide my first pot was too wide so the the bowl was actually sitting in the water which isn't what you want let that simmer let the let the water underneath simmer and once most of the butter's melted chuck in your chockey you don't need to break it down much further than I already have because yeah you can see I tried and just failed miserably all the chocolates in keep it moving quite consistently now the thing about this is the slower you bring it to a melting point the more forgiving it's going to be if you immediately make it melt then chances are it's immediately going to burn straight away but if you slowly bring it up to its melting point then it'll take a lot longer to burn. In goes your brown sugar. Now, at this point, you can take it off the heat. I didn't, but should have. Um, the brown sugar doesn't really need to dissolve in there. Instead, you just mix it in, whisk it in, whatever, YOLO. Um, so your brown sugar's in, mix that through. And as I said, you can take it off the heat here. It doesn't, it doesn't dissolve by melting. It's still quite a saturated solution, if you will. Next thing to go in is your four eggies. So what you want to do is then grab your eggies and put them in. I put them in a spare bowl that I had on the bench first. Um, I think that's what the brown sugar was in. Crack the eggs into that bowl and whisk them up a little bit. Um, careful not to get eggshell. I know you can't really see what I'm doing there. It's cheap camera, YOLO. Actually, it's not that cheap. It's not a video camera. It's a, I mean, it is a video camera, but it's not a good video camera. It's much better for photos. So all of the eggs whisked in and then mixed thoroughly through. As I said, I should have taken this off the heat already. 
fortunately the chocolate didn't burn but the brown sugar didn't dissolve which is what I was expecting it to do it didn't do what I expected it to do but now I've learned and so I've done a lot more batches and they're all delicious it doesn't really matter um, by this stage I have actually turned the hot plate off mix 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 it through and you'll see as soon as the eggs go in the brown sugar actually begins to dissolve it's remarkable how good your tongue is like you can actually feel such small particles on it if it's perfectly smooth then then you'll know about it but if it isn't then well you'll really know about it right once the eggs are in once they're all mixed in add your flour and add your cocoa powder you can shake it in like that but stuff that that takes way too long pull out the fork that you've got there and just kind of mash it through actually I think I grabbed a spoon from elsewhere whatever it doesn't really matter mash it through it's good because this makes it dissolve in a little bit better and it makes sure there's no little clumps as you um, as you then mix it through obviously the next stage is to mix it through now looking at this it doesn't look like a thick cake mixture you don't want a thick cake mixture you want a delectable gooey brownie so this is as thick as it needs to get especially when it's warm because this has recently come off the heat it's still gonna be quite runny we'll we'll cover that more shortly now in goes the 200 grams of raspberries do you think that's all you need well I've got news for you there are a few added ingredients to make this triple chalk white chalk is one of them now you don't dissolve this bad boy at the start instead you put chunks of it in at the end that's the life-changing game changer it takes it from being mmm this is a good brownie to oh oh that's a good brownie and that's exactly what you want from a brownie you get this it's probably the best way to transport raspberries to your mouth raspberries in chocolate to your mouth in a gooey delicious cooked chocolatey mm. so 200 grams of white chalk chunks makes it absolutely a bit all right all right mix that through now you'll immediately notice that it's gotten a little bit thicker because the chocolate has cooled down from these frozen raspberries that have gone in from there tip it into an oven tray this is the one that we greased before that's a good one to do you don't want to tip it into an ungreased oven tray especially when you've got your greased one on the bench that would just be silly again you can see that it's thickened as it's cooled which will come into play a little bit later when you're cooking it you don't want to cook it till it's till it's a solid brick that that would just leave you with burnt brownie so spread that out a bit you, you don't really need to here's the other game changer you need 400 grams of raspberries total well I think I used 500 grams but whatever 200 to mix through and then pat in the remaining 300 200 however many you've got pat in the remaining few hundred grams whenever there's a recipe that says use a certain amount of raspberries I always double it and this time is probably the best results ever pat all that bad boy in you'll notice that the actual mixture goes a lot towards the edge of the pan so just kind of push it back in fold it over the top not far but enough and then guess what's next the next bit slap that like and share I mean oven yeah the next bit you put it in the oven 160 degrees for 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 44 42 41 40 minutes put it in the oven for 40 minutes now you can see here on the left side it's still shiny whereas on the right it's got a very thin crust that's what you're looking for all over because it was only on one side I turned it around put it in for an extra 10 minutes 
just to give that slight crust on top. So 10 minutes later, still a bit of steam. Oops. But you can see it's got the crust on top. Now it's, it's still quite gooey and sticky. But it's not done. I mean, it's done cooking. So take it out of the oven there and put that bad boy on an oven tray. Here we go. On to the oven tray and just leave it for a while. And do, do it quickly so that you don't break any of it. It should hold together. Into the fridge and that will make it set. Now, if you wanted to eat it hot, you can. But it's better to have it cool or at room temp. No, just cool. Have it cool. Then, of course, you got to pretty fire it. So... What we're doing here, we've got some, um, we got some nice big chunks. Oh, check out those white chocolates. Check out all them raspberries. Look at how gooey it is. Mm mm. That's what you want in life. <sighs> yeah. Um. Sorry, I got a bit carried away there. Right. Here we go. So. I've got some icing sugar. You've probably seen people serve brownies like this before. Grab your icing sugar, put it in a tea strainer or just like an ordinary strainer, whatever. Strike and eat sharp with that knife. Okay, grab your icing sugar, put it in the tea strainer and just kind of bloop it over the top. Yeah, you like that, don't you? Yeah, I mean, yes, I do. I do like that because it's delicious. That's what I've done to one. The other, I'm putting a dab of tart yogurt on. Tart yogurt is good because this is very chocolatey and rich. The tartness of the raspberries helps, but the tartness of, um, of this natural Grek yogurt, it just makes it next level. So dab that all over the top. Um, probably rinse your spoon. Or lick your spoon, whatever. I mean, you can hear the possums climbing on my roof because they like it so much. And then grab a bunch of vanilla ice cream. Again, not much. Just enough to have a little bit of a party. And smack that bad boy on top. And, um, I mean, you don't need to do any of that. You can have it as is, but it doesn't that look good. Rhetorical question. The answer is yes, it does look good. Oh, man. If I could eat that through the screen, then... Then I would, but I don't have to, because I've got it right here. So that's the best brownie since the invention of brows and of knees. Um, and that's all I've got for you today. You can watch me eat this a little bit, but uh, but you don't have to. Just smash the like, smash the subscribe, 